This video will demonstrate how to apply the sensor on a neonatal patient. Before starting patient monitoring, ensure all relevant monitoring parameters, especially patient type, sensor temperature, and sight time are consistent with Sentex recommendations in the instruction manual. If possible, it may be helpful to set the sight time according to the patient assessment times. Once you have verified that the settings are appropriate for the patient, choose a measurement site from the picture shown. When choosing an application site, avoid any areas with impaired perfusion, edema, or skin breakdown. Also avoid sites where external pressure could be applied on the sensor from the patient's position, diaper, swaddle, or other medical equipment. For patients with sensitive fragile skin, use the dedicated MAR ESF, which features a silicone-based adhesive. For patients with mature, intact skin, you may use the MAR EMI. Clean the site with a gauze wetted with water or other cleaning agent approved by your institution and let dry. Remove the liner from the multi-site attachment ring and attach the ring to the measurement site, ensuring that the skin underneath the adhesive is not wrinkled. Pressing gently, move your finger around the ring to ensure good skin adhesion. There should be no gaps between the skin and the attachment ring. If the monitor displays ready for use, you are ready to begin patient monitoring. Remove the sensor from the docking station and inspect the condition of the sensor and membrane. Do not use the sensor if any problems are noted. Apply one small drop of contact liquid to the center of the sensor surface or in the center of the attachment ring. Holding the sensor at the neck, insert the nose of the sensor into the ring. Then, apply slight downward pressure to clip the sensor into the ring. Rotate the sensor to distribute the contact liquid. A good airtight seal between the sensor and the skin is essential for transcutaneous monitoring. Rotate the sensor cable into the best position, avoiding any strain on the sensor or pressure on the patient. Once the monitor detects that the sensor is on the patient, the device will initiate monitoring. The transcutaneous readings typically stabilize within 2 to 10 minutes. Once stabilized, the displayed readings will change from gray to the selected color. If the parameters do not stabilize, adjust the sensor application or change the sensor site. You can change the alarm limits for an individual patient by accessing the alarm menu. Alarm limits are displayed next to the parameter value. The status bar contains messages and icons to help visualize general monitoring information, such as patient type, remaining monitoring time, sensor temperature, and alarm status. Once sight time elapses, remove the sensor and inspect the skin. Gently clean the sensor using a gauze soaked with 70% isopropanol. First, gently wipe the membrane surface, then clean the sides and outer rim and inspect the condition of the sensor membrane. Allow the sensor to dry before inserting it into the docking station. Once the docking station door is closed, the monitor will automatically begin calibration. The attachment ring can be left in place for up to 24 hours, allowing you to switch between application sites without removing and reattaching the adhesive. When leaving the ring in place, make sure to position the baby without pressure on the ring. Remove any gel residues from the skin inside the ring. Once the ring has been in place for 24 hours or otherwise needs to be replaced, remove the ring and inspect the skin. Sentech recommends keeping the area free from adhesive for 8 to 12 hours after removal. When the Ready for Use screen appears, you can begin a new monitoring session.